We've all heard the saying, love yourself first and everything else falls into place, but sometimes that's easier said than done. Joining us to talk about the importance of evoking self-love is researcher Katie Sign and good friend of ours here on Good Things Utah. It's good to see you. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to be here and so excited to be talking about this particular topic. Well, Valentine's Day, just about two weeks away. It's like so right around the it's corner. It's all about love, but what is self-love? How would you explain that? Yeah, it's a great question. Self-love is just love toward the self. Love is this unbridled energy that's not meant to be conduited or siloed. It's not conditional. It's not transactional. So understanding the relationship that we have to love with ourselves allows us to understand the way we communicate it to other people. I love when you sit down and you do these deep dive segments. The conversations are just so inspiring and we don't have them often enough. Why is it important to talk about this leading into Valentine's Day especially? Oh, Dina, it's such a great question. I think that when we think about love, we think about relationships and especially romantic relationships. And so we put a lot of pressure on our significant other for February 14th that, that they're going to show us how they love us and we're going to show them how we love them. And, and that, though that's a part of love, it's one small, small part. So my challenge is to make February love month. And let's focus on love for ourselves to understand it and experience it in a way that allows us to offer it to other people, receive the love that they're offering us and grow together in a really beautiful, harmonious way so that it's not about filling my cup and then offering to you, but at some point you become so connected with this love you're a conduit. And so you're never feeling empty because you're loving yourself and you're loving other people, the world around Katie, you. Katie, how many of us have that love for ourselves? I mean, I don't know if we're thinking about working on it mm -hmm. on a daily basis. And is it tied to any sort of ego? It's such a great question. I think that when early researchers thought about self-love. They thought about self-esteem and narcissism. And self-esteem is a construct that we esteem ourselves based on how other people interact with us versus how we interact with ourselves. And narcissism is actually this idea of self-rejection, that Narcissus was looking at himself in a pond, didn't recognize who he was, thought, he was some, thought that there was another person. If he would have just acknowledged that that's who he was, he would have gone on his way. He wouldn't have felt like he needed to die by the pond in the attempt to get someone's attention that was himself. He, he rejected himself and, and ultimately created such pain that he couldn't leave that spot. I think we grow up with a misconception of what it is mm -hmm. or where we get it and yes. that it will be given to us by that outside source. Yes. So how do we start to fill up our own cups and our own inside with that self-love? It's a really good question. I would say the first is to recognize the relationship you even have to the word self-love. So if you have an aversion to it right away, ask yourself why. Don't judge yourself. Be curious. The conversation you had with Kat earlier, this idea of curiosity and understanding, how can we better relate to ourselves, relate to other people, understand how we relate to the world around us? So connect within, ask yourself, how do I feel? What do I need? Um, can I meet those needs? And is it fair for me to expect that I'll meet all my needs? And if I'm not, is it fair for me to expect that someone else should meet all my needs? I love what you just said, curiosity, not judgment. Yeah. That's exactly what Kat was talking about. She asked the questions rather yes. than immediately judged. We're seeking for understanding, and not to teach. Us too, yes. ourselves. All right, you have a poem. Okay, yes. So, I want so you to read. I would say, let's start loving ourselves today. So I'm gonna encourage everyone who's watching to close your eyes, take in this poem. Okay. What if I told you that you are perfection? Your perception of your weakness actualized is your greatest strengths. What if I told you you are inspiration, you are the radiance of the rising sun, the majesty and mystery of a shooting star, and the essence of life? What if I told you you are poetry, you are the verse subtly shaping the soul as the rushing river molds the shoreline? What if I told you you are a gift, you, when opened, freely illuminate the most despairing darkness? What if I told you that you're truth, you personify empathy, integrity, and gratitude. What if I told you that you are consciousness, you exude compassion and the awareness of its place in the world? What if I told you you're peace? You are a safe harbor in which a worn and weary mind can find rest. And what if I told you you are beauty? You are the experience and the desire to own it, capture it, paint it on canvas in words or melody. What if I told you that your heart, 
You melt away the need for reason, the only answer that calms a troubled mind. And what if I told you, you are soul? You grant the permission to be, the freedom to give from a place that cannot be defined. What if I told you that you are love? Katie. You are the sharing of a life in a quiet and blissful moment of complete vulnerability. And what if I told you these things and you believed me? You finally found the answers you've sought after so diligently. What if this was your authenticity and you became so expressed you allowed yourself to soar? What if you saw yourself as I see you? You functioned within this framework of possibility and potential, allowing this resonance to permeate your being until all fear dissipated and you were so filled, sharing this was the only option. And what if I were you? It's so beautiful. It makes you emotional to it read. Does. Yeah, it does. It, 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 it is this beautiful gift that we have to understand love, to know it for ourselves and to offer it to other people. And I want people to know they are so loved. And when you don't see it for yourself, I see it for you. You and do. let's work together to cultivate more love in the world. And we, that goes for everybody because we all arrive on this planet perfectly perfect as is. We all deserve it. It's our birthright. Yes. You have a class on February 14th. February Where do we 14th, sign up? February 14th, Torrent Cycle. So get in contact me, with me if this message resonates with you. Self love sign on Instagram, si uh, self love sign at gmail.com. Come to a class, a cycling class at Torrent on February 14th. It's a day of self love. And then at 8 p.m., 7.45, 8 p.m., I'll guide us through some amazing self-love practices to really open the heart and connect deeper. Katie, you might have to put on your social media where you found that poem. I think a lot I wrote of people. It. You, wait, it did turns? you write it? Yeah, I wrote it. You're a poet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what if I told you that you're amazing? <laughs> and what if you believed it? That was incredible. Thank you 